Ooh. Hello, and welcome to the I Ching Show. And this is my <laughs> two co-hosts. I have daughter Victoria, and of course, Glow Lady, as you all know from the Glow Lady Show, Lisa. And thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. And But somebody's missing. Did you notice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the I Ching guy. Uh, you know what? Um, I didn't set those cameras, Jeffrey. Oh, well, there, that's pretty good right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We have Jeffrey and hey, Christopher in the and control room. Yes, and thank you, Jeffrey, for being here. It's not the I Ching guy. And there's somebody else in that control room, I see. Who would that be, Lisa? Oh, that'd be Dr. Milton Bird. Yes. Yeah, so he is the intern yes. learning how, it, how it's done. And uh, that's aren't, exciting. Aren't you, giving, aren't you giving Jeffrey any, any um, pointers in there? <laughs> A little bit? Jeffrey, okay, the button on the bottom, right, all, all the way down, that's a CG. Press that off. There, there we you go. go. There we go. Now, Thanks. If you if you insert, insert auxiliary in the insert, and then camera one, and then um, the cut or the clip to, um, no, 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 that's a CG. You, you don't want the CG. <laughs> You want the auxiliary. You know what? I love this about about this because this is how we learn. This is URTV and this is what it's all about. It's That's it. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's get, wonderful. Am I allowed to go and help him out a minute? Sure. J just to, sure. Just I'm going to say my hellos. and hey, hey, say your hellos and I'll be back. Okay. All right. Yes. And, and happy February 25th. It's a Friday. Um, and, and as I was saying, the I Ching guy is unfortunately not with us. He and I recently were gone for two weeks, and you might have noticed we had reruns. And we were hoping to come back and do call-ins today, and we were really excited about it. But unfortunately, the I Ching guy um, slipped a disc in his back. He was... Um, well, he's been working out a lot, but that's not how he did it. He was leaving the garage, trying to press the garage door opener that's on the inside and get out quick enough, and somehow he twisted just the wrong way. So he is watching us at home right now in bed. Um, so It doesn't we, happen often. It happens maybe two or three years. Yeah, every two or three years. You're right, Victoria. It happens to him. He'll just... And he'll be like that for maybe about a week. Mm-hmm. Four days, five days. And that's not good. No, it's not good because he really wanted to be here. But um, anyway, hi, I Ching guy. And later, um, he's going to call in and we're going to... We're going to talk about some different subjects. Um, right now, I would like to say our hellos. Of course, the Ching guy, we already said hello to you. Um, to G, to Spark, to Shamrock. I don't think Victor and Shaq are watching because no. they're at the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we want to say special hello to our friend Allie. And, oh, and Allie, I'd like to give you a compliment on how well you did on the Jeff Turner show. I think you just did a great job introducing... Um, his guests, and it was really nice to see you. On, it made me smile as soon as I saw you Saturday. I want to say hi to Jeff Turner, too, by the way. I hope he's watching. Um, we want to say hi to our good friend Tanya, who uh, has Miracle Farms in, out in Candler, and she, what she does is she um, rescues farm animals uh, that are being abused or not treated properly or have been abandoned or whatever. So she's got a big heart and uh, we love you, Tanya, and, and what you do. And we really want to support you on that. Um, I'd like to say hi to Ken and Heidi. Have you seen Heidi, Ken walking Heidi lately? Yes. She is adorable. She is so cute. She's a, she's a little miniature schnauzer who is just adorable. And, uh, We've had miniature schnauzers before, so I know how wonderful they can be. Uh, we would like to say hi in case Bob and Janet, some other neighbors are watching, or any other neighbors that happen to be watching. Hello. Oh, a special hi to Arthur. Oh, yeah. He's working on the house. Yeah, right now Arthur is helping us remodel and do a lot of painting and a lot of things in the house. So we want to say hi to you if he was going to try to catch the show. Um, in Florida, we'd like to say hello to John and Janice. That's my brother and sister-in-law. 
and to Sherry and Haley and Betsy, oh, and Mr. Mittens. <laughs> and and uh, I don't think my sister's able to watch today, but in case, Linda and Brenda and Randy, and then my niece Jody and Keith, and my other niece Jean and Chris, if you're watching, hello, or anybody else who happens to be watching right now, hello. And um, today, uh, Many of you probably remember my mother, Moo Moo, who was just absolutely precious. She used to be our little senior advisor on the I Ching show, and she would sit right over there in like a little mm -hmm. king chair. And she mostly just sat there and smiled because she was so adorable. Mm -hmm. And um, so, um, and, and those of you that have followed the show know that my mother passed away uh, this year on November 9th. And today, Victoria and I, she had this cutest jewelry box that my sister-in-law had bought her and it had little jewels on top of it. And um, when her all time, during her all timer, through the process through that, sometimes she would just want me to get the jewelry box out and then I would get it out and she would go through each piece and she didn't remember a lot of them or she'd say, oh, that's pre pretty, honey, you should wear that. Or, or, And then sometimes she, she would have me put rings on each one of her fingers and I'd put her little necklaces on her and things like that. But today, um, Victoria and I felt really good when we, we got it out. And this was the first time since my mom passed that I had actually taken it out. And we laid on, we sat on the bed and, and went through it. So we each wore pieces of her jewelry. Um, I'm wearing two bracelets. Yeah, Victoria has two of her bracelets on and I have um, a couple of her rings on and one of her bracelets. And I think uh, it just made me feel happy to put it on, didn't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, and we remembered when we were putting them on how she would just get all dolled up. Sometimes um, she would wear two or three colorful scarves. Mm -hmm. She would go in the bedroom and put on a bunch of scarves and, and a bunch of jewelry. And she, even to the very end, my mother just loved to, to be fancy. Mm -hmm. And it was just so cute. And so, um, you probably remember me talking about this after when Lisa and I did the show in honor of her, but at the very end, my mom, um, they had these little, uh, they were like foam rubber and you would wet them to wet her lips because her lips were drying out there that last week. But she was so used to me putting on her makeup every day because mom had told me, early on that she wanted her makeup on every single day. So I'd always put her lipstick on. So then when I would take the little foam uh, to wet her lips, she would go like that, like she was making, you know, smoothing her lipstick around. It was so adorable. But, um, but anyway, uh, getting back to that, it made Victoria and I extremely happy to wear some of Mumu's jewelry and I think every time we go out we should wear a little piece of her. I think so too. Yeah, that's that's really special. Um, one of the things that you have heard the I Ching talk about uh, with the I Ching, which I Ching uh, is the oldest form of divination and it goes back 5,000 years, 5,000 years before the Bible. And um, so Chinese executives and Chinese um, government has used the I Ching for many, many years to solve many, many different problems. Uh, and they, as, as, um, as a counselor, so to speak, too, you know, asking the I Ching things. And some of the major companies still do that, uh, still use the I Ching when they're making some of their decisions. And it's very, very interesting. Um, but one of the, the books, the I Ching books that um, the I Ching guy had gotten, it was called The Superior Man. And um, we were reading different parts of it to the audience, and but it is so interesting, and I just kind of want to talk about it again because it's such a it's such an easy approach to life. Um, the superior man and the superior woman. That basically, it's and I think the Chinese kind of live by this because if you have you ever really seen other than a, in a karate fight or or something, have you ever seen Chinese people really seem angry? Mm -hmm. You have? Yeah, and they mess up. Yeah, and they mess up, okay. They mess up, they're not concentrating, they're too angry. Yeah, if, if they're fighting, that would cause them to, to mess up. But, um, but most Chinese people are pretty mellow in their approach to things. They're, and that's where, unless they're fighting. 
Mm -hmm. When they're fighting, they have to completely go into a different zone, and it's more of an art, I think, mm -hmm. than an actual, you know, like like the type of fighting that that some people do. Or, yeah. but I think that um, in general, they're not a violent, they're not violent people. And one of the reasons that is is because the superior way they think things out. So, when you have a situation or a problem. Instead of reacting immediately by emotion, which we do, you know, as women, probably more than men, you ha it's take that breath and then think about before you talk to this person, be it a child, be it a coworker, be it a family member, before you talk to them, think about what is the result, basically, that I want to get from this conversation. Mm -hmm. And direct your conversation that way. In other words, if you want your child to understand what you're saying and, and to understand that this is a safety issue, let's just say something like that. Mm -hmm. If you start out yelling and overreacting, then you lose them immediately within the first 30 seconds. And basically, that's pretty common sense, right? Yeah. But we sometimes don't use common sense or often don't use common sense, simple common sense when we're reacting to things. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so beautiful about being the superior man or the superior woman is take that breath, think, organize your thought, yeah. or figure out what result you want with the person or persons that you're talking to and which, what is the best approach to get that result? Is it gonna be getting all crazy and yelling? Probably not, because then you lose everybody or fear takes over and they're just afraid of you and that's not what you wanna accomplish. So just taking that breath and thinking about as a superior man or as a superior woman, how do I want to get the result that I need right now? How am I really, it's not a matter of winning the argument, it's, it's getting the result that you want. So you can win any argument by being overpowering and yelling at somebody and just shutting them down. I'd rather be happy than right. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if it's gonna come down to whether I'm happy or or if I'm right in the matter, well, who cares who's right or wrong? That's right. It's like, I'd rather be happy. And that's what we're talking about with the superior man and superior woman teachings of the Chinese. It's don't re overreact. Mm -hmm. Think about what you're trying to accomplish with this two-way conversation or three-way, whatever it may be, and then choose your words carefully. Mm -hmm. Don't attack, mm -hmm. simply use logic, mm -hmm. and and then you will get the end result. So that's not, it's so common. It's such common sense. Mm -hmm. It's such an easy thing, but, but we don't do it. Most of us aren't brought up that right. way. Right, so. most of us react with anger right away and don't take that breath and don't think about it because we want to get our point across. Mm -hmm. We want to win. We, oh, I used to. You used to? I used to, and, and my lungs, are pretty good. <laughs> My mama taught me how to scream very well. Thank and that, how'd that work for you, Lisa? Um, I don't do it anymore. Yeah. How'd that work? With, <laughs> how did that work for the relationship that you have with your mother? How was? How did that relationship evolve with that kind of upbringing? With my mother, dearest. With your mother, what? My mother, dearest. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think that pretty well sums it yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, no, we have a love hate, and, and mm -hmm. I, I, I had talked earlier on my show about you know, just, you know finally you know getting to the point where to get a divorce, and it's like I think that part of it was the um, you know she bet me that it wouldn't work. <laughs> she bet you that it wouldn't work. <laughs> Dang it! I so you hung on there all those years. years. Yeah. 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 Well, Mama said it wasn't going to work. Yeah. Do you know how to find him? Yeah, I don't think you have to have the other person to, to get a divorce, do you? Well, I mean, I if they take. I don't know where he's living now. Yeah, I think I you can. Know if his, if his number. Yeah, I guess you can still get a divorce anyway, though, can't you? Yeah. 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 I went to Pisca Legal, so. Yeah. Well. They're gonna help me, and I feel good about it. Good. See, and you're letting go of some of that goo, yes. goo, goo, yes. gooey stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. I guess what the superior right man and women are saying, to replace the anger when you're trying to get a point across with logic, mm -hmm. and then you'll get the results you want. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and no, that, and yeah, that's th things would have been a whole lot different if I would mm -hmm. know. If usually, we would know, if we would have these tools, yeah, in, in order when, um, to grow it. When people are angry like that and you use anger on them, they want that reaction. So if we use logic on them. They're like, what? Right, and that that's throws true. them off. Yeah, that's yeah. very true mm -hmm. because if they're grow, if they have been brought up in that kind of relationship too, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to be comfortable to them. Yeah, I'm drawing a surprise for the end of the show. Okay, mm -hmm. so so the the teachings and and um, if the teaching guy was here, I'm sure he would be reading a little bit like he normally does from the superior man and superior woman. But mm -hmm. the thing to remember is to breathe and think about what you're going to say mm -hmm. before. And that goes a little bit along with what Benjamin was talking about. What we were doing on your show was um, common sense, you know, things. Asking for what you want and then letting yourself be caught up in that. Yeah. And then you're, there's, um, it sounds like a little, a little feedback. Re, little feedback. Have, um, just the bottom, the bottom ones. Yeah, because yeah. if number three, then um, you'll you'll be a, get a feedback or mics into the studio. Yeah, um, one of the things that the Eching guy wanted me to be sure to tell our 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 viewers who, who we miss, we, we really miss. Yeah, we Mark really wanted to be here today, and he really wanted to take calls. Well, and that's the only way I'm going to forgive him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way you're going to forgive him. So hopefully, if the if he, if it works the way it normally does for him, hopefully he'll be back next Friday because it's usually a three or four day process. Oh, really? So this yeah, is, this is yeah. This is about the third time it's happened well, in the well, last ten years. That where he's thrown it out, yeah, and, and mm -hmm. then it runs its course. It runs its course, and yeah. Well, he's he's just made it back from Florida, which was a traumatic experience for him, and yeah. he has a lot of stuff on his back. And and he's been carrying it all these years, and mm -hmm. hey, each um, and guy, let it go. <laughs> yeah, let it go and come I, back I to us. I can just imagine how different it was. Oh yeah, it was. I it mean, was. I know how different it was when I first went down until now. Yeah. And each and guy left, I think, somewhere around twenty-eight when I years first ago. Went down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, it was not, I mean, yeah. No, he's definitely culture shocked because I, I went down there when it was pretty cool mm -hmm. and then saw it growing. And yeah, now it's yeah. like, ooh. Yeah, it's a different world down there it now. But he got time. his, he got closure and he did, you know, did you go downtown some real, in Miami? No, we did not. We stayed in South Miami in Kendall because that was where he grew, grew up. up. Yeah, and then we went to Homestead a little bit farther south because mm -hmm. he had an aunt and uncle there. But, uh -huh. but anyway, I think he was, you know, know it was kind of he had to think about too you know the last time he was there what he was hold on a minute hold, hold that thought Jeffrey can you check the audio to make sure that it's not too loud over top of our voices you'll have to put the headphones on in order to, to hear it because um, I mean the music sounds good but a lot of times you have to listen to it through there and make sure that it's cool cool yeah but yeah, but driving in it, you know, he drove the whole time, and uh, you know, he, it's a little bit different. <laughs> with Mary Pop, yeah, Pop with, yeah, with Mary Poppins, it was a little different. Oh, Mary Poppins, we were trying to get to this one restaurant one night. Explain who Mary Poppins is. Oh yeah, that's his GPS. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's his Mary maid. <laughs> yeah, that's his GPS. <laughs> his chauffeur. Yeah, so yeah, he has named her, and mm -hmm. she kept taking us back to this Oriental rug store, and we were trying really? to get to this restaurant. Yeah. Well, it, this went on like three or four times, and each time you have to understand when you're there that it oh, may be, it's not if it's easy five miles the block. away, it might be, <laughs> you know, a, a half hour because of the right. traffic. Right, right. We well, after the third time, it finally dawned on us that, you know, we just weren't getting where we needed to go, so we right. went somewhere else. But we never could figure out why she kept taking us to the Oriental rug. You were supposed to buy one. Maybe that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. You were supposed to buy an Oriental rug and put it down on the set here. Yeah, maybe yeah. that was the whole process, and it was amazing that it was where it was taking us was Oriental. Oh, well, yeah, and and he well, I'll save things for his show, but we went to an Ori a um, Oriental grocery store that was uh -huh. you know a. Oops. Oh no, this yeah. is weird to me. 
Yeah, so we an Oriental we grocery store. Yeah. All the, the different things that they have. Pretty late. I yeah. saw shrimp flavored potato chips. I was like, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he'll, we'll let him tell that story, and he has some products he wants to show that he oh, had a lot of fun all in right. there. We'll forgive you, each guy. Something? Yeah. We look yeah. forward to seeing you, though. Yeah. We yeah. look. I'll see you later. Oh, that's right. And I would. And I was showing you that picture of um, that Tanya had sent me. Well, I was in Tanya. I was in the middle of showing her this, and and I don't know what emergency came up before that. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, don't even tell me that I don't have it on here. Is this one of the babies? Yeah, it's one of the babies. Oh. Dang. Either I, I sent it Chihuahua. to my email. One of the Chihuahua babies. One of the uh, lightning. Bl yeah. well, no, 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 Blizzard. That's Blizzard, right. the white, the white one. one. And you did show me that a couple of weeks oh, ago. Oh, that's right. Yeah, All I right, did get cool. to see I Blizzard. I, I did show it. To yes, her. you did. You, yes. you did. And yes, speaking after. of and speaking of animals, um, Victoria's been having some interesting things happen lately. You know. You, you all know, probably know Shamrock from being on the show with us, our little mm -hmm. Iching dog. The co-host. Yeah, the co-host. Well, she really reacts different to Victoria than she does anybody else. Victoria really, just by body language and the way she looks at her, she will like get down and behave, you know, real quick, quit barking or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Victoria's just, it's almost like this no-nonsense approach she has mm -hmm. where she just kind of gives her that look. Well, she communicates She with communicates her. with yeah. her. And so... Um, Victoria has started to notice um, some psychic mm -hmm. reactions that she has to dogs. So why don't you tell us a little bit of or animals in general. Well, I first started experiencing this when I started doing the gene questions. But it only happened like maybe a few months before, I mean after. Mm -hmm. After we started the show? Yeah, and um, so the first time it happened, I was at my mother-in-law's. And she had a friend over and they had a dog. And so I was thinking, I'm like, hmm, I wonder. So I psychically told the dog or asked it, I asked, it, how old are you? And I kept seeing the number eight. I'm like, okay, eight. And so the owner came in and I was like, how old's your dog? And he's like, oh, she's eight, she's going on nine. Mm -hmm. And so that was pretty cool. And then another time, we were in Florida and, um, my cousin, she's got this dog named Mocha, and we were bringing the dog back to her apartment. And you had not met Mocha before, because yeah, this never is a new met dog. Mocha, yeah. Never. And so I was looking at her, and I was thinking, I kept seeing her eating meat all the time. I was like, what, what do you give her? What kind of meat do you give her all the time? She's like, I give her chicken all the time. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I was thinking again, I'm like, I see her chewing on something that she loves. She's like, oh, yeah, that's one of her squeaky toys. Mm -hmm. And then and another image I got was her running around in the yard, uh, Betsy trying to catch her, and she's just running away from her. I'm like, does your dog get loose all the time and just run away from you? She's like, yes, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she will not let me catch her. Mm -hmm. And so we go to her apartment, and she's got a cat. I don't know the cat's name. But I looked at her, and I was like, your cat's scared to go outside. She's like, yep, she won't get near the door. But that's 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 all. unusual for cats too. Yeah, she, you know. Yeah, and that's that's all the though. experiences I've had so far. But you're she's exploring them, and I think she yeah, we needs. Yeah, feedback there. Are, are, is that Ichin guy? Did Ichin guy call in? No, he's going to call in when we ask him to. He said. Oh, so okay. might be Tanya or something. Yeah, no, um, he has the. Um, well, he had the uh, don't call up. Oh, okay. But he's um, checking our our. Um, our feedback. Okay. The sound. That's basically all I've gone through so far. Well, that's how it starts. And it's recognizing that you do have the ability and the gift. Mm -hmm. And then you just start talking to animals all over. Yeah. And they will respond to you. Mm hmm And I think that, you know, you were saying you didn't, weren't sure how to talk to them yet. Yeah. But I think you're talking to Shamrock because I see that just by your body language and your look that you give her, mm -hmm. I can just yak, 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 and Shamrock will do exactly what she wants and just looks at me like, whatever. She but, has her around her middle finger, <laughs> I mean, little finger. Yeah, but <laughs> but Victoria will just give her the look uh -huh. or the body language and Shamrock will sit still or do what we, you want her to Shamrock do. Shamrock just loves me. Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, she, and. It, it's been a while since she's, yeah. since I've seen yeah, her. Yeah, I was gonna bring her tonight, but then without the I Ching guy here, mm -hmm. and you know, I thought, well, mm -hmm. we'll hopefully, now that the weather's breaking, but because we've had so much snow and such tremendously 
bad weather, it was kind of hard to bring her we here. We have been blessed in comparison to a lot of other places. We sure have. Yeah. I mean, I will. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, you know, what was it, 50, 60 degree weather today? The wind yeah. was blowing pretty mm -hmm. good, but we're not getting those drastic storms no. that um, a lot of other people are getting. No, we're really fortunate there. And, you know, there's so many things that actually we could talk about because Lisa and I have no trouble talking. We're both yakkers. We have not seen each other or talked in the in three weeks. But because on the I Ching show we don't talk about religion or politics. That, I do. The kind of, <laughs> the kind of you know, we, we just won't go into some of the things that are happening right now. We'll save those for your show, Lisa. Which um, ones? Um, just some of the things that are happening in Wisconsin and, you know, uh, oh, you know some of those things. We'll just oh, hold that. Oh. Well, I mean, tomorrow, uh, well, Two twenty six eleven in Pack Pack Square Park. Is, uh -huh. that, is that what it's called? Um, uh, Vance, Mon Vance Monument. Vance Monument is where they're going to march for um, Planned Parenthood. Oh yeah. Uh, Walk for Choice. Mm -hmm. And then um, they had said about um, Pack um, Pack Square Park for the solidarity with the uh, Wisconsin people, okay. people from Wisconsin. So that's okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's something. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there filming. Yeah, and you're going to be somewhere Sunday. Tell us I'm about gonna, that. At the circle on Sunday. Yeah, that's right. You didn't see that. No, what's going oh, on? Oh, gosh. Well, I've been um, helping out at the North Carolina Cannabis Patients Network, mm -hmm. which people have seen, or uh, hopefully they have seen Dr. Milton Bird um, on that, explaining, you know, what is, you know, a lot of education. And we went to the circle over on Haywood Road. Okay. That's over in West Asheville. Mm -hmm. You've got to cross the river and get off on Haywood. Yeah. And then you go in to West the Asheville, east and, uh -huh. and it's on the left hand side and, and it's such a cool little store. I mean, you know, they have art. They had a, a, a I think it was I know, a I know what you're talking about. Oh, you, you know, you mm -hmm. went there before? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so you're going to do some readings? I'm going to do readings for, um, by donation. Oh. That way, in case people, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people who always wanted a reading or wanted to know about a reading or whatever. I mean. I'm that's great. So what time are you going to be there? From 12 until 6. Okay. That's great. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe you guys can come down yeah, and That's exciting. Yeah. And then we have to figure out what we're doing when Kelly Beard comes in, too. Yeah, yeah. Kelly will be here end of March? March 20th okay. for the Spring Equinox. Kelly Beard will be here. Yes, that's exciting. Yeah. It's very exciting. So we'll have to figure something out. I mean, okay. I, I edited uh, that's two a, hours of the meet and greet, 17. and I still that's have a another Sunday, hour right? and a half to go yeah. to get the meet and greet. So I'm mm -hmm. hoping... Please say a prayer that everything goes well for me in editing. Yeah, because that was fun, and we have that a, was, that three, was three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Yeah, well, that's and, a lot of editing. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole lot of editing. Mm -hmm. So, but it was cool. Yeah. Ah, it was. It was fun. Mm -hmm. It was a lot mm -hmm. of fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of people spoke, and we had a lot of, um, you it know. It was just way cool. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good, good evening. And next time I'm going to make sure that both of the microphones are recording at the same decibel. <laughs> that would be a good thing. That mm -hmm. would be a real good thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Since the I Ching guy is watching us right now, um, there we were thinking about um, some other conversations that we'd like to talk about, some Possibly some paranormal that would be way things, cool. and um, so if would, the I Ching guy, cool. if you'd like to give us a call, we can get you. Jeffrey's ready for you now. Yeah, we're ready for you. Um, that, that's that's Jeffrey De Cristoforo who's putting that up, and it's like he's he's like so on top of it. Yeah, he is. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've had some really great interns around here. Mm -hmm. We really yeah. have. And last week, there we go. Uh, last week was Jeffrey's first by himself in the... I know. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Now, today's the second week that he's tried it um, pretty much by himself. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it helps to have somebody who's in there and who's creative and... Yeah. And, it's like, yay. Uh oh, it sounds like it. The top two, if you press the top two down. Yeah, I did. Or if you want, you can press the do uh, bottom two down, and then that'll just come right over this audience. Can you, is there a, um, is it flashing? Is that? Yeah. There you go. Okay. 
brought, just press the bottom two. He's just coming straight out over. Press the bottom two in there. I did. The top two are up. Oh. The top two are up and the bottom two are down. Can you hear us, Mark? Yeah. Uh, hi. Can you hear us, Iching guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Yay, Chris. I mean, Jeffrey. <laughs> I called him Chris because of his last name, too. I know. Yeah, I think he'll, he'll answer to either, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, how you doing, Iching guy? Uh, except for that no. bad backpack. Doing pretty good. Uh -huh. Well, I hope you're sounding better than that phone is sounding. <laughs> oh, going on? It was my not over clear. It's not clear, no. It was like going in no, and out. Louder. How about that? Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. We, yeah, yeah. So we were thinking about Iching guy um, talking to, on some paranormal subjects right now, since you can't be here to do readings. Yeah. Um, well, I'd like to. And I have this whole URTB whole history. I've seen a lot. And you know I what? Think, We're having a hard time hearing you. What phone? Are you on your cell phone? Yes. Yeah, I would say call from the home phone. Yeah, why don't you... All right. I'll, I'll call you right back. Okay. What? All right. <laughs> Oops. I think he hung up. <laughs> That's great. Okay, yeah, keep an eye on there, Jeffrey, because he'll be, he'll be He's going to call again. back on the house line. Yeah. But um, cool. that and makes I think, a difference. Yeah, and I think that everybody, have you noticed that everybody that you talk to, although people don't really want to talk about paranormal, everybody you talk to when, you, when they feel comfortable with you has a story to right. tell that is very right. sometimes right. shocking to them because they didn't believe in it. That they were the only you ones. You need to tell about the time, that house. Oh, yes, yes. That, um, okay, is that Mark back again? Just put on on the um, the bottom two. Yeah, we'll we'll get it. Hey, hey, you chin guy. Hey, how do I sound now? Better. Yeah, you you do that. You do sound. Better. Yeah. Whoa, just a little feedback. Yeah, just a little feedback. Um. Odd, because yeah. like I have TV all the way turned down. Okay, okay, Jeffrey, take off take the, off the first two and just put the bottom two on. Oh, God. Yeah. Dana. You got it? Uh, bottom two are down. Top two are up. Correct. Okay, great. And then, um, uh, that sounds better, right? Yeah, you talk to us. You can guy? Yeah. Yeah, right. okay, you can cool. hear it. Okay. Wait until you get your butt in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in for it now. Yeah, you oh, are. Oh no, you're gonna you're gonna find it very enjoyable because, like I said, Jeffrey's been handling the whole thing. Yeah, and and the oh, and the floor's been painted. Yes. Um, yes. the top coat has been put on it, and that uh, clear coat. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it looks great, and where all the in the hallway or in that little area in the hallway where we were keeping all the props, mm -hmm. now they're all in behind the curtains where they should be, and so yep. the whole studio looks neat and clean. And yeah. Yeah. All right. You're gonna. All right. yeah, oh, are you guys gonna be out at the ch um, the uh, county commission meeting on Tuesday? I don't know that he could sit. Oh. Okay, we'll we, forgive you, Yiching. We'll count on you next week, or I mean, in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I think you better wait yeah. for the two weeks to make sure he's able to. I, w I will try to go. Oh, um, this Tuesday. Um, there's going to be a bunch of people that are going, so I would prefer that you rest so that you can come back. Because <laughs> yeah, you might have to stand, and that probably wouldn't be good. Right. Cause well, if, if you're the not main, there. The main thing is getting up and getting back down. That really gets my back going. You know, probably standing would too. You haven't been standing a lot, Ching guy. Oh uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that might be. That might do it too. Oh. Um, one of the things that, how I thought maybe we could start this out is Victoria had just asked me a question or suggested that I tell about that incident I had um, at a lake house one time. Is he still there? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Jeffrey, can you check the the, the music? Because I know that it's loud here. Eiching guy, can you hear the music? Yeah, I can hear it. Okay. 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 Um, do you remember? Uh, well, this was a lake house, and this was my first real. Well, not my first. My first. 
my first experience of it happened in Michigan, but this was actually in South Carolina. I was at a lake house and there was a, the neighbor's dog, uh, they had a yellow lab, a beautiful lab, and she... Patches was her name? Uh, Duchess. Duchess. I keep saying Patches. And every time I would go there just for the weekends, Duchess would come and stay with me the whole weekend mm -hmm. long. And we would take these real early morning walks, like around 5 in the morning, mm -hmm. through this kind of quiet neighborhood. And there was a, an abandoned farmhouse, and it was so odd, Lisa. It was... It was up, you know how they used to put houses on stones? Do you remember that? Like the, the house? You ching guy, what are you doing? That isn't me. Oh. <laughs> that. Is that it, could it be it my it? earrings? No? I don't think so, because they're no. not moving. Um, but anyway, this house, the force is with us. this house was on stones, and um, it was like it had been abandoned. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, the furniture was still in it. There were dishes on the table, like they had had a dinner, uh -huh. and everything was molded over. And when you went in it, because the doors weren't locked. It's like right? everyone just went up it's, and it's This like, was in South Carolina? Yeah, and it was like one day, this place just disappeared. And um, so... That's really weird, what we're getting. Because we're not moving. It sounds like a dog. A dog? Dog barking. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to you, a dog barking? Yeah, on the phone here, that's what it sounds like. Hmm. Uh, we have no idea. Yeah, it's just kind of a weird... What, what, are you, what are you guys doing in the control room? Nothing. <laughs> they're, they're just standing there. I know, it's like, what is going on? I mean, sometimes the, uh, these guys are weird. Yeah, sometimes the microphones are a little weird. But anyway, um, even to where when you went in this house, you saw where they had been measuring the children. Like as they were growing and they had their names uh -huh. and what age they were right. and pictures of families, this family, and they were, it was on a lake, so they were fishing, but everything was grown up around. You could barely see the lake anymore, but it was just so odd. It was like one day this family vanished. Right. It's the only thing, and nobody seemed, in the whole neighborhood seemed to know who owned it except that a doctor and his wife from Atlanta had originally owned it, right. and they came there all the time, and then the neighborhood kind of came up after they were no longer coming. Right. So this is very strange. And... Um, but sometimes we would just walk through the house. All, you know, some neighbors and I and Dutchess and just nobody ever touched anything. Nobody ever bothered really? anything. There was still a oh, piano in the really living room. Cool. Uh, upstairs there were, there were beds and there were curtains were all still on. And there was like a book open on one of the beds. I right. mean, it was just a very strange situation. Uh -huh. But one morning, Duchess and I were walking. And it was just getting dusk. And was as we just got in front of the house, Duchess just stopped. Dead uh -huh. stopped and started making this weird kind of noise. And then the hair started standing up on her back. Uh -huh. And she was looking toward the house and she was looking straight up to one of the bedroom windows. Right. And so I looked up and of course people are gonna think I'm crazy, but um, oh, no. there was a white curtain there and you uh -huh. could see Somebody that there was a there. young girl standing uh -huh. there and she looked maybe, I'm saying anywhere from 8 to 12 right. years old. And okay. she was peeking through it, looking at us. And uh -huh. then Duchess really got upset and just started barking right. and barking and barking. And I was just kind of in a trance looking. And then I looked down at Duchess because she was getting so upset. Right. And when I looked up, there was nothing there. Mm -hmm. Well, I, needless to say, I never went in there again. Oh, really? After that. Back. Yeah, I, I felt yeah. like maybe I was, uh, it was, I was in invading her privacy, I'm not sure right. what. And basically I was scared too right. after seeing that. Right. Well, a lot of people are freaked out over um, apparitions and, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, yes, there's all different kinds of. But if somebody would have told me that, that they, I would think, mm, before right. that happened to right. me. And then right. I realized, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, have some stories to tell. Yeah, you have one, Victoria? I have uh, three. Okay. Three ghost stories? Kinda, maybe. I mean, they are ghosts, really. Oh, you got a feedback coming in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, it, it could be your <laughs> sound. You wanna go check do, it out? Do you want me to go? Yeah, go ahead, check it out. <laughs> go ahead, check it out. Uh, maybe they need to see 
the handheld mic, make sure the LR button is yeah. popped out, not pushed in. Okay. So should I continue? Yeah, go ahead, Victoria. Well, um, uh, in Chris's old house, mm -hmm. it was really dark, like we were sleeping in bed. And it was pitch dark, and I saw this white orb just go across the bookcase and just disappear. And it lasted for maybe about three seconds. Did I ever tell you about mm -mm. that? And another time, like these are really quick ones, they're not all detailed. Another time, uh, we were just joking around and stuff, and uh, I think we were in the bathroom, and there was a roll of toilet paper up on the toilet. And all of a sudden, it just like, someone knocked it down, like just knocked it like that, and it flew over to the laundry basket and landed in there. Wow. I laughed, I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we were in Florida, I don't know if you guys heard of black orbs before. Lisa, have you heard of black orbs, Lisa? Have you heard of black oh, yeah. orbs? Oh, yes, okay. Well, I saw one. It was about, maybe about this big. It was on the wall going like this, just like this and then just disappeared. And I looked behind me, there was no bugs in the house, no dust anywhere, I even made my shadow. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's all, basically all that's happened to me. Um, I Ching Guy, can, can you hear us? Yeah. Do you have something you'd like to add to that? I'm sure you do. Uh, yeah, I've had several uh, paranormal experiences in the house that I grew up in Miami. Mm-hmm. But I know the reason was because a friend and I in there, down there, we were using a Ouija board. And then after that, that started up. Trouble. And so because of that, I don't have anything to do with Ouija boards anymore. There's a certain way to uh, consult spirit or whatever, mm -hmm. but you have to be done just right. And if you don't know how to do it, mm -hmm. so. then you could cause problems like this. And mm -hmm. so because of that, um, you know, uh, it's like electricity. You don't run in fear from it. You treat it with respect. Anything magical, paranormal, so, you know, an electrician should handle electricity. An electrician mm -hmm. should come into your house and mm -hmm. rewire. Mm -hmm. If you're not an electrician, then you shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're asking for trouble. You don't know exactly what you're doing, mm -hmm. and you're li you're liable. You could get shot, electrocuted. Mm -hmm. So it's along those lines. Hmm. I, I, I second that one. I just did a house blessing today for for someone, and I could feel a lot of the negative energy, and it was at the front door and the back door specifically. Um, you know, there was some in between, but it's like, I mean, if you don't learn to cleanse yourself first, to protect yourself first, when you go into something like that, you're going to have those entities attaching the, themselves to you. To you, and can they leave with you? Oh, yeah. I, I had a um, poltergeist attached to me um, for a couple of years. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and um, I mean, I went to a, a botanica down in Florida. I don't know. Did I, did I ever tell you mm -mm. about that? Mm -mm. Um, well, let's see. Oh, do I have to tell the whole story? Yes. All right. I, I was down in Key Biscayne, and, and I was walking with the kids to the bathroom, and... Um, you mean your sons? My, my uh, Shelby and Chet, the small okay, ones. Okay, the small ones. And my one. niece and nephew. And uh, this is uh, back, uh, way back, uh, 2000. And there was a cauldron with little tools that was like a shovel, a rake, a hoe, and there was a tall cylinder with a rooster on top, and, and I could feel that there was energy in it. And then there was a goat's head. So, yes, I did what you should not do. I broke whatever spell was there that somebody had cast out there. Uh, I mean, when you mess with that kind of energy, yeah, I mean, you, you get... Like right. eating guy it, was, it was talking about. It, right, right. And it was somebody who... Now, there again, I mean, yeah, it attached itself to me, but when I opened up the, um, the, the, the cup with the rooster on top, 
it really it was it was stinking it was bad and oh. I washed it out and me oh I want the tools Oh, so you so took, I took so you the interrupted the. Okay. I broke whoever whoever set out to inflict harm upon somebody. I know that that's what it was. Ugh. It wasn't good. I broke whatever whatever that was. But then it attached itself. But then it attached itself to me, and I went to a botanica, and I had said, "Hey, this is what I did," and it was like, "Oh." Um, she gave me a bath and and you know gave me some things. And, and I went home and I burned a candle for three nights and, and I woke up and I had these bruises all over my arms and I'm like, you know, okay. So then the, the third day I, I, you know, did this bath that she had made for me and I get out of the shower and I have these, these scratches on me where, I, yeah, I have pictures mm. of them and, and of the, the bruises and, and the scratches and, and I had told her about it and she said, yeah, it was a poltergeist that was attached to you. And uh, I mean, it was almost like a black and a white as to good and bad luck. Was mm -hmm. it painful or not really? The scratches? I didn't even know that they were there. Oh, okay. I, 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 ha I have no idea how they got there. Mm -hmm. You know, all I did was pour it over my head and, and get out, and it was like, you know, like. Like it was holding on to you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Claw they were claw marks. I mean, they are claw, claw marks. I think I have them up on the internet somewhere. Oh, what so, the. I mean, that was just one of my experiences. Mm -hmm. I'll let Dad, I think Dad should be Yeah. Honest. Yeah. I Ching Guy, do you You're have. You're next. What's that? <laughs> we we want to hear from you we some of your experiences. Him. We'll hear about the uh, poultry guys. Oh, I could just. Oh, you had a poltergeist too? Yeah, that thanks to me and my friend messing with the Ouija board. Oh, yes, duh. The, the, yeah. the old house in Miami was haunted for like two or three years. And it was, uh, sometimes it was pretty, pretty annoying. It's <laughs> like, uh, you could always think what I was thinking about it, and it would come around and like do something. So like, if I just known back then about parapsychology, I could have gotten some parapsychologists and tell them, look, come in here, set up your stuff, your cameras, all that, and let me know when you're ready, and I can make this thing come whenever you want on cue. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like that. But I didn't know, you know, so. Right, right. And because of that, I did not want a Ouija board um, in my house or anyone using that around my house. Right. I mean, there's a there's a right way to handle those things, right. and I don't know how. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I myself don't know what it is about Ouija's, Ouija boards that, that bring in the more of the negative entities than anything else that I, that I know of. But One thing I heard, someone had said, well, I think Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet, Right. once somebody asked him about that, and he said it's a dangerous toy. Yes. And I think um, one other person I heard talk about it, they said that you're, you're, you're going to, it's a grab bag. You're going to grab, you're going to attract who knows what. Right. Oh, so you could attract, a attract something a nice spirit or a bad spirit or a poltergeist or well there again i get i i feel that it's like an open portal oh. so maybe in good intent yeah. i mean i i'm not saying that it, i've always heard only bad i remember playing as a child but um i yeah i didn't play with it long mm -hmm. you know because it's like <laughs> you, you know yeah. And another thing I'd like to say is, I think this is the first time on URTV that a producer has hosted his own show <laughs> from home over the phone. <laughs> wow. So if I, I would have known that, I would have brought a camera there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it would... It, 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 it was crazy. I got here and, and did some work up in editing, and I mean, it, it, the usual. Mm -hmm. But I did want to put a picture of the I Ching guy up on there. It's like I have um, some other stuff that I wanted to put up, 
Um, I wanted to put the circle up, and it, it's like, oh. The circle. The, the circle. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna like the circle. It's over on Haywood Road, over in West Asheville. It's, it's right beside 420. It's 426. Mm -hmm. Four, I know. 420. Yeah, it's right beside 420. It's 426. The circle. Oh, okay. Yeah. What stores okay. are around it? 420 printing. Printing, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And then I, I think there's a tattoo shop a little bit close, and they have some farmer's market and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I know where the farmer's yeah. market is. Yeah, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a really cool little shop. They have mm -hmm. a lot of different arts and crafts. And, yeah. And, um, yeah. So Lisa is going to actually, Iching guys, she's going to do, um, I'm gonna do readings. readings this Sunday there. She's going to do tarot card readings. Yes, yes. And then I also yeah. have my astrology and numerology, too. Uh-huh. I mean, I have, I have, you know, that that work yeah yeah also I'd like to say is people need to consider the fact that right after world when we do when we won World War two we took a bunch of those Nazi scientists and engineers back here with us and told them you can go to prison or you can work for us so, you know, most of them took the second choice. And two years later, 1947, that's when we first start to see UFOs. Okay, is it, is it that hard to figure it out, you know, some of this is uh, the result of some former Nazi engineers' experiments, you know. And then who knows what, what what they got going on now? No, we have ancient aliens. Yeah, we, we may have some of that too. But these a lot of these things did not start until two years after World War II. Right, when we started getting more into the nuclear. What's that? When we started getting more into the nuclear. Well, wasn't that the atom bomb? Yeah, that was 45. Okay, well, we started getting more nuclear um, can, can destroy the world um, technology. Yeah, so, are you talking about how the UFOs tend to hang around nuclear places? Correct. And, oh, yeah. And shut, yeah, them, yeah. And shut them down when. Um, and they'll, yeah. they'll hang around mm -hmm. and do weird things. Yeah. And, and yeah. I've been hearing a lot of, of talk about um, UFOs and aliens and pyramids and, and all kinds of stuff that's, you know, that's been coming out mm -hmm. late, lately. And I, I mean, we as light workers, you know, trying to stay in the light, doing, you know, doing good, you know, I, I, I have no fear. You don't have any fear of? I have no fear of. Of no. aliens or, no. yeah. No, my ex well, other than the poltergeist, but I, I mean, light always triumphs over dark. I mean, you can have it dark, but the, when the light comes in, it's you know. Mhm. Mm yeah, it wins. Right. It wins. Right. Yeah. Another right. thing that was really weird is that every one of the sacred places that are on the earth, such as Stonehenge, uh, Woodhenge, um, there's at least one place in the United States. UFOs tend to hang around there. Correct. And then on top of that, we will have a military presence right nearby. Yes. So right near Stonehenge mm -hmm. in England, they have a military base. Mm -hmm. um, somewhere in the United States, there's something going on. I think in Sedona, we have a military base right nearby. Right. This is like place after place after place, mm -hmm. country, no matter what country, there's always a military presence right nearby. Right. Well, look at the Vatican. The Vatican having the telescopes in order to look for our friends out there. <laughs> did, did you guys know that, they, that mm -mm. the Vatican has a, um, a telescope? Yeah. Mm -mm. What are they doing? They're, they're watching for um, a life force out in, in the stars. So if the Vatican, who contains a large portion of intellectual property, um, I guess that's a 
you know, one word for it. A whole lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. That that they've they've kept kept hidden. Mm -hmm. You know, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't don't be afraid of the dark. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of the dark. Are you? Really? Well, then you're going to have to watch my movie or, or the show that I did this week and tell me if it scares you. Okay. You you got to you got to watch my uh, uh, Glow Ladies camping camping stories and just just let me know if it scares you. All right. Are you? And uh, Miami, Florida. It was like every intersection is a major intersection. <laughs> yes. Uh, some of them were like five lanes on one side, <laughs> four on the other. Yes. So just going anywhere is an uh, ordeal. I, I, yes. Yeah, so we, what I was talking about, we found that, that we were just trying to leave uh, Dixie Highway in right. in Kendall uh -huh. and get to the toll road, which is another thing I'd oh, forgotten about toll road. Going west, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, Turnpike. Yeah, and it took us um, a little over an hour to go 12 miles. Oh, <laughs> remind me why I don't live in Florida. Yes, and so the Iching guy and I were just like, I was just like, well, we just the first day I just thought maybe it was, it was just an that day. odd day. There had been an accident, yeah. like I was saying. Yeah. No, there's no accident. That's just the way it is you just sit and wait and yes and oh that. yes and mark what about the horn honking oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah it was like you cannot go a whole 15 minutes without hearing someone honk their horn yeah 15 and seconds sometimes it wasn't even another car around they just honked their horn <laughs> <laughs> bunch of horny people <laughs> so the next time we go down there and there will be the next time i'm gonna bring a hand tally counter put it on my <laughs> Bell. Every time I hear a horn beat, I'm gonna hit it, and by the end of the day, I'm gonna see how high it went. That that would be a, a very listen, good, uh, uh, yeah. Listen, I Ching guy, we got only got about a minute left as usual. Yeah. This went fast, but we are oh, really okay. looking forward to being here next week with you. Yeah. And um, we want all our viewers to know we've missed them, and we hope that they're thinking of questions and they're gonna call in next week and. Um, so you can do I Ching readings, and your daughter, Victoria, just did a really nice drawing while we were here. Uh, Lisa's going to take it up to the camera, I think. The girl down there. Oh, I saw her working on something. You saw it, yeah. Here, do, do me a favor, hold that up. And it looks I'll... like a yin-yang okay. squirrel. Yeah. I'll show you what everything is. Yeah, we're... Whoop, Lisa. <laughs> we almost lost Lisa there. Okay. Okay. See? Oh, uh, yeah, yin-yang yin ball with... And pull it up some. Okay. And there's the lucky cat right there. Yes, Chinese lucky cat. You go down just a little, pull up a little more. Okay. Fortune cat. A little more so you can see. Okay. See if you can sharpen that. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to get it sharp. And that girl's drawing hexagrams in the sand, and there's like three little coins. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we'll bring it home to you. Wait, so. No, bring it yeah. home. Thank you. That'd be jamming. Thanks again, viewers. Please, uh, please forgive us for not uh, having the eating guy with us. We're gonna try to have him here next week. If I can forgive him, oh, you yeah. can. We love you. <laughs> yep, she can forgive. Good fortune. Good fortune. <laughs>